Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to get started working on an A1502 MacBook Pro that has no power. Let's see if we can fix this MacBook and get rid of its coronavirus. Lots of MacBooks with coronavirus nowadays, and we are here to fix them and make them work again. I can't cure the real coronavirus, but I can cure the MacBook virus. So let's see what's going on with this MacBook here. We're going to plug this in and see if it turns on. All right, so as you can see, we're taking 130 milliamps, and we have no light in the charger. Now, this is something I've never seen before. I've never seen 136 milliamps out of any A1502 or even A1398 machine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to unplug everything from the machine and see if there's anything causing this particular problem. One thing I'm curious about is, is PP3v42 underscore G3hot present? Because as you know, we need PP3v42 underscore G3hot to be present in order for us to get a light on the charger, and we don't have a light in the charger at the moment. Now that could also be because something that was plugged in was stopping it, like the keyboard or the trackpad, very often the case, but as you can see, that's not it here. Since I unplugged the keyboard and the trackpad, still no green light, and still taking 130 milliamps. The way you've been sniffing over the past couple of days, I'm pretty sure you've been infected two weeks ago. Now I've had the sniffles ever since I got back from, uh, from Maine. In, uh, in January, actually. Around that, that time. I ha it's, I've had allergies for a while. So that's not virus. Let's take a look on the board and see if anything looks funny. Fucking son of a bitch. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's supposed to be an ISL 6259, and it's a fucking solder blob. Like, what the hell is this? This isn't... What the sh... Okay. Okay, this is stupid. This is stupid. Who did this? So the chip has a hole in it, but in addition to the chip having a hole in it, it's... Oh, come on. Come on. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is really dumb. What the fuck? Okay, so some somebody saw a chip had a hole in it, opened the board, and decided to pour a layer of solder on top of the chip that had a hole in it. Wow. I wouldn't even expect the, a genius to do that. All right, so I'm going to replace this chip with another one and see if this board works again and get this back to some happy person who at least now will have something to do during the quarantine. I think that my business is somewhat essential. If you're going to ask people to sit indoors all day and, re and their only method of communication, entertainment, or information gathering is this piece of shit machine, they need this thing to work. And if Apple's going to be off, if Apple's not going to be at work because of coronavirus, that's fine. I will come to work. I don't care if it is 1044 at night and there is nobody at the store besides me. I will sit here by myself so that nobody gets infected and just fix MacBook. Because that's what I've been doing for the past eight years anyway. I sit at the store really late at night until two or three in the morning. I ride my bicycle home on routes where there's no people because sane people are not riding their bicycle on the street home at three in the morning. I've always been quarantined. I insomnia quarantined myself. That's a type of quarantine. Sit here, me and my $800 air filter, and I will after this is done, we're going to alcohol off this entire MacBook, send it back to a customer, and hopefully they'll have something to do. Somebody's got to do it. All right, so there's a trace on the board that got burned up. I'm trying to push it back down there. Yeah, okay, I just pushed it back down. Beautiful. Corona, Corona, Corona. Corona, Corona, Corona.
What do you think this corona will do to your shop? I think we will figure out how well we get along in times of strife. How does my business work in times of strife? What kind of, you know... Have I treated the people that work here well or not? We're going to figure out, because that's the thing. You figure out in times of great strife if you've done the right things or not. You know, there's... Times like this, there's a lot more than just... Don't get me wrong, money counts a lot. M money does a lot. You know, people will... But at the same time, I think we'll figure out if I've, if I've created a good company or not. If I do get through this and I survive, maybe I created a decent company. If everything falls apart, then, you know, maybe my company's shittier than I think. No way to really tell until it's done. You know, wow, I hate these alcohol dispensers. For anybody who doesn't believe this, by the way, look at this, this is a fucking alcohol dispenser. Ready? Look, see this? I'm trying to wet my Q-tip. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Now now it shoots out, because put I put it on camera. That's the way that works. It only works when it's on camera. All right. I don't know, cheater. That, that's, not really, that's not a real question. That's not a real question. That's the problem. Has business noticed we dropped off? Yeah. Malins are still coming in. A lot less walking. The real problem here is with the lack of ability to just pause. Because if we were able to pause, then it wouldn't be that bad. You know, any sort of real shutdown. The problem is that the way it's going to work is I'm not going to have business for a while. But I'm going to have to pay the staff. And my landlord's going to want his money. And I'm probably going to wind up getting nothing from, uh, from government or anything like that. So that, that, that's where the real problem comes in here. Is that, oh, it, there's a, it's a partial pause, right? Because if it was a full-on pause, it wouldn't be too awful. But if it's a pause on customers coming in, a pause on the store being open, but no pause on, uh, on rent, payroll, insurance, uh, you know, alarm system bill, all this other shit, then that, that's where the problem comes in. Because, you know, it's not like people are, are showing up to work and doing all the things that they're doing because they really want to see other people get sick or because they just love their job that much. Maybe some f crazy lunatics love their job that much. People that like seeing the green light again. Some people will do anything to see the green light again, but it's that it's it's not a real pause. And there's also a lack of trust in government when it comes when like, I think Cuomo or for De Blasio said something like, you know, stay home now, you'll worry about the economy later. I mean, it's easy for you to say, fuckface. Something tells me you have bigger coffers to pay your twelve thousand five hundred dollars a month in rent from than I do. You know? Like, it's easy for you to say, worry about the economics of it later. You fucking fuckface. The only reason you're even governor is because your dad was governor. You're governor because your dad was governor. That's an easy job. Why are you governor? Because my dad had a bridge named after him. Fuck out of here. All right. So where was I here? What happened to Apple releases of the Scree GPU? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. They can't do that. They're not allowed. I'm pretty sure there's a regulation saying that Apple's not allowed to release a discrete GPU. It would die in five days. Bear with me in mind the hypothetical Mad Max world. Would you grab your people, secure resources, and haul up? Would you go out and try to organize a new civilization? I can't answer hypotheticals that are that ridiculous. Because there's, there's too many... Too much is not accounted for there. That's like saying... You've met a girl who said she watched your videos. What do you do? Oh, am I single or am I not single? Is she interesting or is she boring? Is she crazy or is she normal? Like, is she cute or is she not? Is she? There's there's so many things that are not that you need to know in order to answer a question like that, and that's just it's a boring hypothetical. All right, I'm pretty sure it was on the board like this. And if it wasn't, then L will tell me.
Ah, uh, yeah, tech loose. I just use. I'm using a different one. I'm using a. I add another transmitter. So I have two transmitters here, just in case I wanted to do interviews and stuff like that. So I have a spare for when one of them fucks up. So I still have the other broken one there. I just don't use it right now. I don't feel like buying a new one. In three months, if I still have a business, I will replace my wireless transmitter. I like this one, though. The Sennheiser one, when it works, is nice. To be clear, that's a big if. I mean, when. When it works, it's nice. Can someone in chat tell me why Lewis heats a board with hot air? The same reason that you cook a steak. Instead of eating, just eating the cow in front of you. Same reason that you put gas in a car. I heat the board with hot air so that the, the solder will melt and the chips will go on and off when I eat them too. Yeah, like that's a good one with bars. So for example, so the city said, you know, shut down your bar, right? Okay, cool, fine. I'm forced to shut down my bar. Do I still have to pay rent? Because I think that's what's killing bar owners, you know? If the, the bar was shut down, but they didn't have to pay rent in the bar, and then the company that owns the building the bar was in didn't have to pay property taxes to the state for that month, and they didn't have to pay the mortgage on the bar for that month, for, on the building the bar is in for that month, then pausing would, be, would work. But pausing doesn't work if you say, bar, you can't open, but you gotta pay your insurance and your rent and mortgage and blah, blah, blah. That doesn't work, it's a, it's a half measure. And the problem is you can't get everybody to collectively pause at the same time because everybody has different incentives. Everybody, this, it, it, there are too many different industries that are intertwined with one another. So I'm very curious how that's going to be made to work. Now, as you can see, after replacing our ISO 6259 chip, which is responsible for PP by G3 hot, I get a green light, then an orange light, and then a fan spin, which means this MacBook now works again. This MacBook now works again. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. It's a fan spinning. Isn't that beautiful? It works! So what happened here is the chip responsible for creating PP Bush D3 hot, the 12.56 volt power rail called the ISL659, known in the schematic as U7000, U7100 in schematics made after 2012, wound up having it dying. It had a hole in it. And for some reason, some crazy sick lunatic, probably fucking Jay's two cents, decided that instead of actually replacing the chip, I'm just going to put a bunch of solder on top of it. This is why you don't send your board to Jay's two cents for him to fix it. Because that's what he's going to do to it. And then it didn't work. But we fix it by just finding the chip and like bing, bang, boom, and bam. Bing, bang, boom, bam. That's pretty much it. So that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Don't send your board to Jay's Two Cents.